after many in the athletics community expressed concerns over delays in the construction of a new track at the Truman Bodden Sports Complex ahead of the 48th Carifta Games. Government says today it will accelerate those same plans starting next week. But how did construction fall behind? Department of Sports Director Colin Anglin explains. From our side, we wanted to get started immediately after New Year's. Department of Sports Director Colin Anglin explains the hurdles of installing Cayman's newest track, now six weeks behind schedule. As we started to build out the, scopes of, the scope of works, the scope continued to increase, which also went beyond current funding that was available. So then you had to also go back to cabinet members who graciously approved. But once finances were in order, timelines grew longer. Things got cleared a little bit later than we expected, etc. Uh, you know, when things are, are shipping, you know, coming near December, etc. Everybody's trying to ship things into the island. That causes congestions um, and cause some delays there as well. And now that materials have arrived, Anglin says government along with contractors are moving forward with construction in fleeting fashion. We're pretty much going to double our labor force. Um, we just said at this point in time, everything is on the table. If that means we got to work extra hours, we work extra hours. If we have to work through the night, we work through the night. And they are shifting to a contingency plan, focusing on the new track first and the warm-up track second, in hopes of cutting the six-week timeline in half. If we don't have any um, unforeseen delays, no string of bad weather, etc., that we could actually hammer this out maybe in three weeks in terms of this track. And with the new scoreboard to follow, Anglin says the race to full completion will be a photo finish. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Um, my hope is, is within about six weeks. Now, the total investment by government into the 48th Carifta Games, it's just over $880,000. Now, the games are set to take place in April on Easter weekend. We thank Mr. Anglin for the interview. He was currently suffering from pink eye, as you can see in that interview. Don't go anywhere. Joe Avery's got to check on your weather next to ground.